Welcome back to Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. We just broke out of our shackles in the courthouse, so as soon as I unpause it, I'm immediately going to have to run and hide and start shooting Nazis. So, let's get to it. Yeah, so I only start out with, like, one magazine for this gun. I don't have a lot of equipment, not surprisingly. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow, they're everywhere. Ooh, I got this thing. All right, that'll do. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hear footsteps so close by. Ooh, mounted gun. What the heck is this thing? Sort of like a shotgun, I guess. got a couple different firing speeds. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Yeah, let's try taking a position here. Maybe this will be better. Maybe it'll be safer. I don't know. Okay, I'm not getting too many enemies now. I think we're, uh, we're kind of doing it. No, that's not going to work. Jesus. Dual wielding two guns when I only have five shots. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. Also, damn it, I was doing so well. I should have saved it. Oh, I just got a bunch of ammo for this rifle. Okay. Good, good, good. I don't have to conserve ammo as much with it anymore. That sounds good. Someone here to rescue me? Is that what I think it is? Shit. Alright, well, we're saved. I mean, the game is saved. I'm not saved. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Get the fuck out of here. Health, ammo, stuff. Cool. Oh, fucking hell. Gah. Ah. Wait, what? I just loaded the wrong save. Jeez. Fuck. Can I outrun a dog? No, you can't outrun a dog. Oh man, this is so fucking hard. Holy shit. I'm just gonna keep moving. Let's save right now. Come on, motherfuckers.
You think they're ever gonna stop coming? No, 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 pick that up. I wanted to attach it to reload it. I hear heavy movement, but I think most of the enemies are taken care of. Where's that coming from? I hear it. Heavy footfalls. Oh, here we go. Here are more heavy footfalls. Okay. So where am I going? How do I get out of this damn place? Possible open door over here. No, that's locked. Grenades, okay. I've got like almost everything. Chances are, uh, oh, we just look. Uh, tons of assault rifle, shotgun. Okay. I'm still gonna keep this thing, just hold on, let me just get my weapons sorted. Get these going, get everything reloaded, uh, let's toggle off the scopes when I'm dual wielding these. Okay, right now these shotguns are set on the super burst where they shoot three rounds each time, so they are going to unload their ammo very fast and very powerfully. But still, nonetheless, I want this thing. No, not that. Take this. I think we're good now? Okay, now we can leave. I what the hell? I didn't mean to do that. is full of unexpected things. This can't some be real, be obviously. And some break your heart. I wasn't there when you needed me. I ran out on you. It hurt so much, Billy. It felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest when you left. But all hardship is temporary. Do you know this? And most of it is inevitable. I had to stay behind so that you could leave. And now you're the one in trouble. Do not worry for me. My troubles are all for my son. I don't want to go back out there. But I can't do this anymore. You are strong, Billy. We are survivors, you and I. We keep fighting even when we do not know how. You cannot help but be my son. I'm having twins, Mama. They're not born yet. I want to see them. I wanted you to see them. I miss you. 
We will be together. Soon. You just have one more hardship to... This is where the head reattachment thing comes in. We have oh less God. than seven seconds. Okay. Ready? Steady. Max Bombate. Grab it! Anya, no! Hurry! We have three seconds. We need to give his brain oxygenated blood or it will die. Transport! Oh Gott, er ist tot. Scheiße, das bin ich. Look! Look! He's awake! I'm a head Holy in a jar! God, the god of immortal space fish swimming in his fishbowl! Hail, space fish! Mr. Blaskovich, can you hear me? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so listen to this. <clears throat> Some time ago, Caroline obtained this latest generation biologically engineered super soldier body from a Nazi scientific lab. Very, very impressive specimen. Anilin, please show this to him. Look, William, Seth is going to attach this to build a connection between your head and your new body. Tindala, please, I'm a Nazi My family. Come and help me here. Now, Aww. these are very rare hey. Nazi combat equipment from super soldiers. Our fight is found in the field. None of them is working, but I have enough material to fix one contraption. You should decide which one you want. You can choose 
blink once for this one, blink twice for the one in the middle, blink three times for that over there. Huh. I, okay. Uh, I don't really know what these are gonna get me. Harness, ramshackles, or battle walker. What? These things look absurd. Why would I want to walk around on stilts? Wouldn't that just make me exposed and then I couldn't okay, take cover? Okay, you're gonna pick out the one of your liking. Uh... I don't know what these do. Ramshackles? Sure. Oh, it actually gives you a description. That is very good. Metal reinforcement rig protecting your upper body joints, elbows, and shoulders. The ramshackle allows you to ram through obstacles, smash open doors, and crates, and pummel your en enemies. <laughs> they will be active when you are sprinting. Oh my god, this is absurd. I love this. <sighs> Blaskowitz has just been rebuilt so many times. It is just so absurd that they're even alive anymore. Compress your torso on activation, allowing you to enter into narrow spaces. Using the harness prevents you from breathing properly. Prolonged use will cause damage and eventually death due to lack of oxygen. When moving in crouch, the constrictor harness activates automatically when applicable. That is so creepy. How, it's constricting me so much that I can just fit into tiny places. That's that's disturbing. I don't want to know what that looks like. Also, that is a terrifying image there. Blasco is looking like a monster hiding under something. Mechanical actuator system that is mounted on your legs and activated on demand. Once activated, mechanical supports extend, allowing you to access new areas. Ooh, vertical covers or other tactically advantageous positions. Double press the jump button to activate the battle walkers. Huh. Access new areas sounds very nice. Right, well the ramshackles seem to be sort of a run into the middle of battle sort of thing, which is something I don't like to do, because that will lead to very, very quick death in this difficulty, so definitely not that. Ready, Jimshit. Small spaces seems like it could be interesting. Especially if it can take you into areas that you otherwise couldn't access? I mean, obviously it can take you in areas you otherwise couldn't access, but I mean if it lets you into rooms that would be completely impossible to access otherwise, maybe? That could be useful? Cool? I don't see myself hiding under small stuff all the time, but it's hard to say because I haven't used it yet, you know? I imagine they're going to start giving me more opportunities to like more, they're probably going to change the environment to give me opportunities to use something like this, so it's hard to say what that's going to look like and whether it would be good. But, this thing is the most intriguing, actually. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, Yingle, let's get to work. I will sedate you now. See you soon. I can even see that the head and the rest of the body aren't quite the same color. in the last two years. Aside from killing Nazis. <laughs> if you die one more time, William, I will murder you. <sighs> Come, I'll give you some clothes. Send them to me when you're done. Uh, no, have you seen Ketzelet? Where's to get you? Where's to get you? Shim Shim. I get the Shim Mr. Blaskovich. How I look? Like a new man, Yingle. A new man. 
God, look at you. I'm so happy you're back. Now, this, same thing Shoshana has. There's no, 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 no. This connects your head to your body. Very, very important not to fiddle with this. Now, you might feel some weird tingling sensation, not to worry, it's normal. But let me know if anything else happens. For example, your head trying to reject your new body, something like this. Exhaust! Max! Max! Feel the same way. I have repaired the contraption you wanted. Put it on. Let's see what you could do with it. Go on, Mr. Blaskovich, put it on. I was expecting there to be more yes. of a more of a getting used to it period for the new body for Blaskowitz, but it looks like fully usable right away. Jingle it, pick it up and put it on. I think you'll like it. That's right, Mr. Blaskovich. Now engage the battle walkers to reach to the top of the wall and climb over it. Ooh. Yes, Shimshin. Now use the battle walkers to reach up and over this wall. Whoop. I can't shoot him. Ah. until you have familiarized yourself with your new ability. Well, that's good. They gave me a chance to use it before I have to use it in combat. Yeah, so double press it. You almost instantly go up. It's very, very fast. And then looks like one of the ways to deactivate it is just press control. So crouch. Yeah, you can do that very fast. Doesn't seem to give you more jump height. So it doesn't seem to give you super jump. Not even when you first extend them. I think it might be a context sensitive thing whether it allows you to go up and over. Because obviously I don't have the vertical height to, to like actually go on top of this thing, but somehow it let me on from the other side, and then I think the feet just automatically compressed down when I got onto it. Because obviously I wouldn't fit through this thing if I had them deployed. So yeah, I think it's pretty context sensitive when it deploys, or not when it deploys, when it deploys you have to do, but when it de-deploys or whether it allows you over something seems to be context sensitive, I think. <laughs> Such a tiny little noise. Yeah, so it lets you onto something and then just instantly disappears. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So I could do that, the way I just did, or... Very cool. Wow, oh, that is very cool. Oh, that's it? Okay, guess there's not much more else to it. Weapon upgrade. I think I'm going to show some love to the hand grenade for once. Let's get the fragmentation upgrade. I'm not exactly sure what it does based on the description. It's definitely going to do more damage, I think, but I'm also wondering if it increases the range as well. I'm not sure. Aside from just being obviously super important to the Resistance and to Blaskowitz personally, just in general, she was also super important for, well, the suit that was hers, is what allowed Blaskowitz to do a lot of what he did. And then the, the body that, I think Caroline was involved in securing that super soldier body, right?
You know, it's, it's remarkable to see you here standing in front of me. It's just astonishing. Your detention and public execution were the most well-guarded events in television history. They're protected by the full might of the Nazi war machine. And still, you're standing here in front of me. You know why? Now, the only reason you are standing here is Anya. She never gave up. No, this girl never gave up. When Grace's plan to rescue you uh, failed, Anya remembered what I accomplished with Shoshana, asked me whether I can do the same thing for you. She was the one who brought into my attention the super soldier, biologically engineered bodies. She even reclaimed all of the weapons you lost at the ruins of the farmhouse. She is relentless, this girl. She's a keeper. <laughs> yeah, she is. It's my quest right now is to go talk Good. with Grace. Have you had a chance to speak to Grace? I think she needs your assistance with something violence really. <laughs> I imagine Grace is probably not going to be doing too well. Um, how much time has it been? At least like a month or so, right? It's, it's been a while. But, but yeah, uh, Spesh. I mean, Spesh and Grace were together, and he's dead. How am I doing on the leaderboard? Still one from the top. I think I'm going to end this episode here. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to go speak with Grace.